Hello, you guys. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Today is going to be our first decorating for Christmas vlog of the year. So it is mid-November here and normal weather in New Jersey mid-November is like in the 40s. So like if you guys go back, I was looking at some of the footage from last year when we were decorating our house, like outside. Steven and I both had like coats on and gloves and stuff where today, randomly, I don't know what's going on. It is 75 degrees, literally almost 80 degrees in New Jersey, which is super not normal for November. So something weird is going on with the weather, but when it comes to decorating for Christmas, especially outside of your house, it is much more pleasant to do it when it is 75 and sunny outside. So Steven and I were like, today is the day we need to tackle the outside. So we're gonna try and get all of the outside done today since it's such beautiful weather and we don't really like to do it when it's like freezing cold out like normal. And then next week we'll probably tackle the inside of the house, like all the trees and indoor decor and all that kind of stuff. But today, since it was so beautiful, we were like, we have to take advantage and do the outside stuff today. So I'm super excited. Some of our neighbors have like um, professional people come and like do the outside of their house and theirs have already been up since like November 1st. So I'm like, we are behind, but I'm just so excited to get everything up. Uh, Steven's actually already out there working on some of the lights. I just grabbed a bunch of stuff from down in the basement. I'm gonna go outside and start to help him. One thing I wanna show you guys is I think it's so pretty. Let me go grab it. We went to Costco yesterday and got this wreath. It's like a really big wreath, has different ornaments and stuff on it, but it's also lit. So it'll light up, which I thought would be really, really cool because the wreaths that we've had in the past on our front door don't have lights on them. And we always had kind of like lights around the door. So now I'm excited that we have something for the front door that can be lit. And then I'm gonna put what we used to have on the front door here in our kitchen, um, in the windows in our kitchen. So we still get use out of it. But I thought this was a really good deal. As big of a wreath as this is, and the fact that it was pre-lit, I think it was $49. Uh, at Costco and they had this in like another colorway too, but we just went with like the classic red. We got this little soap set where you get all these little Christmassy soaps and they're big and like heavy, like they're filled to the brim and they all have like different Christmas scents and stuff to them. And this was like $12. So I was like, wait, that's actually really nice. We'll put them around the house as well. So Costco did have some cute stuff this year, but most of the stuff are outside. We're gonna use similar stuff to what we used last year. We did get some new stuff for the inside of the house, but I'm definitely one of those people that does like to use the stuff that I have instead of just buying all new stuff every single year. I just feel like that's super wasteful. So we have most of the lights and things just kind of got the new wreath for the front door. Um, but I'll use most of the stuff that we used last year. I just got to get it all out of the basement um, and bring it outside. So let's get started. All right, I'm walking down to the basement now. The lighting down here is horrendous. So I'm sorry about that. Also, I am excited though. Oh my gosh, we still have so much stuff down here. <laughs> Um, I am really excited because we decided that we are gonna do lights on some of our landscaping this year. In years past, we haven't done it on like the actual landscaping outside. So it's kind of what Steven's working on right now. Because when we bought this house, there was no landscaping at all in the front yard. So we got it all planted when we bought the house. And then last year it was still really small because it like hadn't really grown all that much. But this year I feel like they're big enough to actually like put lights on. So I'm excited. We're gonna do a few little lights on some of the bigger trees in the landscaping and hopefully that'll look nice. But. Um, yeah, this is kind of uh, so much Christmas stuff down here. I'll show you guys. We just have Christmas stuff galore everywhere. We already brought a lot of stuff downstairs, but I have to grab, like I know, I always like to use these outside. I got these at Walmart a few years back and they always look nice. We have these trees too that I got from Bed Bath & Beyond. This is also unorganized, I'm sorry. This gold garland we put on our staircase, so that will stay down here until we do that. Um, probably next week when we do the inside, but this red garland we do outside, we kind of do the classic red and green on the outside of our house and then use more like gold kind of tones inside of our house because it goes a little bit better. But on the outside, I do like to do the classic like red and green. So all these have to come upstairs for outside. So this is what we had on our front door last year, which I got at Hobby Lobby. I absolutely love it. But as you guys saw, when I opened the door, it is pretty heavy and it kind of hits into the door. And I do have to open the door a lot for packages and stuff throughout the day. So that's kind of why we got the wreath because it was lighter. I just always get scared this glass is gonna like break from this because it is pretty heavy. So I think this will be better in our kitchen and it actually goes really nicely with our kitchen. So that's where I'm gonna put this. So we'll take this off for now and then I will replace it with the new wreath. Steven coming through. <laughs> we got some of the trees for outside. Oh, I have to take those. These are like our all seasons little greenery things at our front door. So we replace them with the Christmas trees during Christmas. Hi guys. So we're gonna take a quick little break from today's vlog to give thanks to our sponsor of today's video. I am so honored to be able to be working with Wayfair. I'm sure you guys have already heard of Wayfair from their website where you can find a ton of different home pieces and a bunch of other things as well. They have so much stuff on their site, but you might not know that they have a YouTube channel and they've launched a new programming on their YouTube channel called Interior Motives, which is so good. I was actually featured on a bathroom organization video on Interior Motives 
this a couple months ago, which was so fun. They interviewed me about like makeup storage options and solutions and stuff for a bathroom, which was such a cool experience. But they have so many amazing different shows on a variety of like home interior type topics on their channel. They have great product recommendations over there. And they also do a lot of deep dives into like the logic behind smart room design and like where to put stuff in a room that makes the most sense or like how to organize a bathroom, a whole variety of different concepts kind of all around like interior design and home related stuff. So I think you guys will absolutely love it. I will link the Wayfair YouTube channel down below. So go check out the full episode of Interior Motives and subscribe to Wayfair if you wanna stay up to date with their great home content that they are creating on their channel. The link is right down below in the description. So go check that out when you guys are done watching this video and let's get back to the vlog. Okay, I don't know if there's like something wrong with me, but I cannot get this wreath out of this box. I'm like, how? <laughs> it's like, I don't know where it's attached. I cannot get it out of here. I'm like, what is going on? I don't want to bother Steven because he's like outside doing stuff. All right, I got that open. <laughs> oh my gosh. Princey, help me, baby. I was trying not to ruin the box so we could like store it in here year to year, but I don't think that's gonna be possible. But I don't know where it's like attached in here, but it's attached good. I cannot get this out of this box. I don't know. It is like stuck in here for dear life and I can't figure out where it's attached. So I was trying not to ruin the box so we could like save it. Oh. Mm. <laughs> right. Okay, it's underneath. <laughs> I didn't think to look there. What do you got? <laughs> Can I have scissors? Now is this battery powered? So we need batteries, I guess. Let's say. Yes, it's battery operated. I don't have those. You don't have what? D batteries. Okay. Well, we can get them, right? Mm -hmm. All right. I think it should come out now. Yes. Yay. So pretty. Okay, got it out. We don't have the right kind of batteries, so we'll have to run and go grab those for this but at least we got it out. Runs on D batteries if you guys get it, which we do not have any extras of. First, we're gonna try and tackle these pillars because we wrap like uh, Christmas lights all around them because Stephen was doing this tree over here, which is like big enough to put some lights on this year, but I think we're gonna try and do the pillars first because that's always the hardest part is like spacing it evenly. So Stephen's just getting out some of the lights. They're all like tangled up, of course. All right. This is always the worst part, detangling and then trying to put them on. But then it looks pretty once it's done. All right, you guys, so I have a cool idea. I got the garland up around the front door. I'll show you, it actually matches perfectly with the wreath, so I'm so excited, because the one we had last year didn't really match the garland, so everything matches a lot better this year. So there is the garland on the door. I'm gonna like adhere it a little bit better on the sides, but right now it's up there and then we have the wreath in the center. So last year I used this same garland on these windows, but it was always kind of moving around and it was, I didn't love the way it looked. Like, I like it better around the door. So I got an idea. I have this ribbon from last year that we never used. It's like really thick ribbon. So I'm going to wrap those windows like a bow, like put a ribbon going down and across and put a little bow in the middle. So we took out the screens. They're on the grass back there. So I'm going to like basically wrap this ribbon on the screens and then we'll put the screens back in and it'll hopefully stay and like look cute. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Here's how it looks on the screen. Just putting like the actual ribbon was easy. It was making the actual bow that like took me a long time just to measure everything out so that it looked correct, like the right proportions and even, but I think it's going to look so cute once we put it in the window. Love it. And it's nice too, because I feel like that's a super affordable, like little way to decorate the outside of your house. I think that thing of ribbon that I got was like maybe $5. It was probably cheaper than that. I don't know if it says it on there. Um, but it was super affordable. So it's $7.98, but I know it was 50% off, so less than $5, and can make your house look super cute. So I'll show you guys once we have it actually in the window. Steven's working hard over here on the lights. It's coming out good. Yes, looking good. Okay, update on the bows. Probably took me like 25 minutes to do the first one because I was just trying to measure everything out and like make the bow look right. When I just did the second one, literally took three minutes. So once you measure out your window frames, it's very simple. Um, it was just the first one that took long, but the second one is all done. So they look super cute. And we're gonna put them in in a second. Okay, so next little project that I'm tackling, you guys see how I have the garland hanging here? So it's secured up there, um, but then towards the bottom, it kind of just like hangs. So what I do is I use these lanterns. I got these from Walmart. They actually still have them this year, even though I got them like five years ago. And they were like $10, but they have a pretty good weight to them. So 
I put them, I like find which side I like best. I think this one looks cute. I put them in here like this and then I secure the garland to this so that the weight keeps it from like moving around. And it's a really easy little hack. Okay, we got the bows put into the windows. It looks so cute. Obviously once we have all the lights and everything up, I'll show you guys like the completed look, but I'm really happy with how this came out. All right, you guys. Finally done for the well, day. Well, for the day, yeah. We got a lot done, but we're not gonna show you guys until everything is done. Yeah. Um, but the only unfortunate thing is because now it's November, it gets like pitch black at 4.30. It's literally, what is it, like 5.45 right now? Yeah, but it looks like, that, yeah. it's like 10 p.m. behind us. Crazy. Um, yeah, so we're gonna stop for today and then we'll probably just finish up the rest tomorrow. We are almost done, but we're gonna wait to show you guys till everything is complete. So we'll see you tomorrow. Okay guys, it's a couple days later. It's actually the following weekend and it is somehow again in the 60s in November. So we don't know what is going on, but we're gonna take it. Yeah. Uh, so we finished the outside of the house pretty much this morning. Like we did a little bit throughout the week, but it's still light out right now. So we'll show you guys once it gets dark out so you can see all the lights and stuff. All right, you guys, we got all the lights on. It looks so pretty. I love it. We got the little trees by the door some garland and our new wreath. I have to fix the bows because they're kind of falling at the top. So I'm gonna use a little fish wire. This one's staying good. That one I have to kind of prop it up. I tried to use tape, but it keeps falling, but I love the way everything turned out. We got our little trees here and then the smaller ones there. And it looks so pretty. Yay.